It's ironic that the first person who's reading this message is going to be Hori. <laughs> <laughs> I should be happy by the fact that at least I'm doing this with Ori and, and my, you know, and I can, I know what I'm doing and we're doing it together and all sort of thing, but the, the engine's being disassembled. Uh, there's actually dirt inside the engine. Oh, fuck. So fucking time in, in Ruinambaki and uh, in the jungle with so, much en- with so much dirt going into the air filter, it's gone into the engine. And as a result, the rings have, have degraded. Uh, so it's engine out engine apart. Good thing is at least I can take it apart, so that's a good start. We're also going to change where the air filter is. At the moment, the air filter is down here. And I don't have the, the, the piece that comp- divides the compartment, so whenever when I'm driving, a lot of dirt comes up through the, through the uh, compartment. So we're going to put the air filter inside and keep it as a completely separate area. Just out of the petrol station, and uh, the government last night decided to take off the fucking subsidies of the fuel, so the fuel has gone up, it's just doubled in Argentina overnight. So these like cars that we were panic buying and literally Hori and I are the next car to be fucking served and they've just changed the pricing. This new government is great, but moving prices this quickly could send this country into revolution. If people can't eat and they can't drive their cars, there's a serious problem here. That I really worry about the future of this government. Unfortunately, the change here was for the better, but moving things this quickly, I'm not too sure is the right move because this could be a real problem. Working with Hori is unique for many reasons, but this is one of the most unique. This guy's like an escape artist. <laughs> uh, every day, this guy tries to make a break for it. Thankfully, we catch up to him pretty quick. I'm making pizza with Laura tonight, so we're doing the bass and... Now I understand why we have to drink so much wine. We need the corks. Okay, that makes perfect sense. The dirt was actually in the cylinders. Also, so the other thing that's failed is the speedometer. I mean, normally the thing in the combi is you don't need to worry about the speed you're doing because you're never going to be breaking the, the speed limit. I bring it back to the UK. It's illegal to have a car that has a speedometer. But it's time for me to push on. I've got a long way to go. A long way. Uh, <clears throat> I've got uh, 9,500 kilometers to ride. You know, the next three months will be a lot more movement. Uh, but I'll have a very reliable car, fingers crossed. Uh, a good thing is I've got, I've now got a lot of, a lot of jerry cans. It's got about 150 litres of fuel that'll be in the car from Argentina. Argentina makes, makes clean fuel. Uh, Bolivia, fucking fuel is shit. So I got enough fuel to get me through Bolivia before I get into Peru where the fuel's good again. Okay, yesterday the engine came out and today it's being rebuilt. One of the things I miss about Rio Cuarto He's known Hori for 44 years. And uh, every week, Danielle and I go out and have some dinner together. Here, I've got an insert that's coming out, so we have to rethread it. And there's a new insert. This is, um, this is the last time this block can be fixed like this. Uh, obviously, I bought a second-hand block from <laughs> Walter Mendoza, questionable character, because obviously the diameters involved in putting these inserts in. Every time you put a new insert in, you have to increase the diameter. And there's only so much diameter to work with before you- I just got to make 10,000 kilometers to Cartagena. Well, well, hopefully it's adventure filled, but not the wrong sort of adventures. Anyway, onwards and upwards, woo! We've got sticky, sticky wings, chili wings, onion rings, vino, <laughs> mucho vino, aioli, 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 lots of smiles. And the hits just keep on coming. We've just found another rotten insert. This is supposed to go in here and hold fast. Unfortunately, when it's put on the, uh, the cylinders, it's come out, so we'll have to... Because I've got a problem when I'm going backwards in reverse, the car is locking up for some reason, so we don't know what it is. 
I'm hoping it's not a, a gearbox problem. Think about my car is my Think car is a German car. And well, I don't mean because Volkswagen is German. My car was made in Germany and shipped over here. Um, the combis in Argentina are slightly different specifications. They're actually different size. So the availability of parts for my car in this country is very, very um, rare. I've decided to buy a spare engine block that's fully assembled without the cylinders on it from Hori. Bless him, I wanted to give it to me for free, but I won't accept, any, I won't accept it for free. So uh, I've, I've insisted that I pay for it. So I'm gonna have a spare engine in the car in the event that something should go fucking terribly wrong. All I gotta do is arm the cylinders onto it and then I can uh, continue my journey. But it's the right move. It's a bit like buying insurance, right? So you never know when you're gonna need it, but when you need it, you need it. Argentina makes a fantastic olive oil. It's funny, in Australia, in the United Kingdom, we never see Argentinian olive oil, but it's really good. All right, well done, man. Wow. Luca is very kindly helping me clean the combi because in three days time I need to roll, so. <laughs> One of the greatest joys I have in, uh, in Rio Cuarto is Cinema Day with Katarina. And we go every, every week, every two weeks, and it is one of the joys that I have. I uh, spend a lot of time in the workshop with Hori, and, but this really breaks it up for me. And uh, in the absence of not having my kids, um, Katarina is like my, it's my niece, my Sabrina. And I absolutely love you to bits. I love, I love hanging out with her, she's so much fun. And now she's starting to speak English, so. This is it, Horry's putting on the final touches. Okay, it sounds awesome. like a complete engine. Uh, obviously, I've been a little bit stressed out with the timings just because I'm worried about, uh, you know, I've been here two months and I need to get going. So uh, it's, been, it's been a little bit stressful, but uh, Horry has delivered and, uh, and then we're gonna work out which engine I'm gonna buy from him as a spare because I'm gonna get there. The last time Horry and I built this engine, uh, Horry was out and Nicholas came out with a, with a fucking uh, hammer. I thought he was about to start hammering the engine. So this is where you find out if Nicholas has put like a, a nut or a bolt inside the actual engine before we start up. Because if it starts up with a bolt inside it, you'll see a massive explosion. Tuesday today, and um, last night Hori found out what was wrong with the reverse. Uh, we had a problem in the CV joint, so that's been done. I mean, what a legend Hori is! I mean, he, what I noticed when I'm working with Hori is that when he's listening to an engine, just by listening to something in the engine, he can tell straight away what's wrong with it. He's Without regarded it. as the best air-cooled combi and Volkswagen mechanic in the entire country of Argentina. And engines come in from Buenos Aires, from up north, south. Everywhere, people send their engines to Hori from all over the country for him to fix. So he has got the most incredible reputation. Uh, it's, it, it, he's famous, for lack of a better word. So the engine it's really is purring cool. like a whore on heat, so that's done. We've got to fix the, the speedometer, put the Michelin man up, and that's it. It's There's done. an asado happening here with all the boys on Friday. So, uh, so there's going to be a bit of a party. It means I'll get out of here on Saturday, I hope. I mean, God knows what state I'll be in. Oh, man, that is awesome. Look at that. Grass is sorry. That is a cool upgrade. Okay. Boha, I'm going to go there. Okay. One, two, three. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Marco. 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 Cada fuera. Cada fuera. So, and I was planning on leaving on Sunday, but I've been having some very strange sensations in my chest. And um, in order to alleviate any concern, 
Uh, I'm going to go for an ECG either today or tomorrow and just make sure my heart's all right um, because something needs to be done. Uh, I'd rather be with Hori and the family um, because I know I'm safe. Also, the medicine in, in, in uh, Argentina is, is fantastic. Uh, I can afford a private clinic here. The medicine in, in Bolivia and Peru is just not up the same sort of standard. In the last three or four weeks, some really strange sensations, uh, some pain, and I probably should have addressed it a bit sooner. Uh, Hori's got the engine back in, it's connecting it all up. Fantastic. Okay, start the car up. Sounds amazing. Straighten the engine in the car, making sure the electrics are good. Oh yeah, feel the power. Woo! Oh yeah. See? It's been some pretty serious developments in Ecuador in the last 24 hours. I mean, these, these problems in Ecuador have been going on for quite some time, but... Um, but they've sort of come to a bit of a crescendo with, with you know, armed guys bursting into TV stations. The city of Guayaquil is renowned for being seriously dangerous. Um, and I have to go through that way to get to Colombia. The Peruvian army have now deployed soldiers to the border with Ecuador because things are getting so out of hand. Crazy. The last time I was in Ecuador, there was an uprising, but it was indigenous people protesting about the cost of fuel and, um, and inflation, and they were with spears. So, you know, whatever, no big deal. These guys are fully armed, grenades, automatic weapons, um, and the gangs are not afraid to, to use them. I don't know <coughs> if they would target well, foreigners, if however. If it gets to the point where the borders close and it's too dangerous to drive through Ecuador up to Colombia, then I'll have to reevaluate the situation. The shops are closed, there's no food available, um, fuel is still available, which is great. But, um, you know, there's a curfew, 11 p.m. There's a curfew, you're not allowed on the streets. And all of the foreigners are um, basically in the, in, the, um, in the campsites with the gates shut and just holed up and waiting to see what happens. The criminals, the, the, the narco-terrorists, I guess you could call them, are going directly head-to-head -head with the army and the police in shootouts. So it, it sort of creates a bit more of a dire situation for, um, for anyone stuck in the middle. So I just have to... I'm down the hospital waiting for my turn to go and get the ECG. Holy blessing. It's taking me in. Well, the good news is I'm not going to die anytime soon. We've just had the heart test and it went bing, bing, bing. So, so, so it looks like I'm going to be around for a bit longer. Onwards and upwards. Woo! I'd be lying if I said I was a little bit nervous, but I'm glad it's Hori doing this. Stew here tonight. Put Bailey's in there. Oh, precious. Let's see what's happened five hours afterwards. Ooh la la.